the web. Go to the chat room if you're on a net cam. You want to go to the special part of the chat room called the net cam cineplex. I want all net cam calls on the show today. Yeah. And everyone who gets on the air on a net cam gets a free screensavers t-shirt or cap and a fabulous magnetic picture frame. You do have to get by our well-dressed net cam cineplex You've host today. You've got to get today. by us. Oh, <laughs> Today. Well, yes, darling. I Ladies think, and gentlemen, I think a round of applause. Cheers. Cheers. With you. Cheers, Joshua. Outstanding. Joshua and the Joshua and the cat. Cat. adding a little bit of class. Yeah. That's right. We don't. We, we're taking our job seriously. We're in this brand new look at that net cam Beautiful. booth. Beautiful. They're, they're borrowing that from Tech Live. I think they hijacked it. And by the way, that is Martinelli's apple cider you're drinking. Yes, of it course, is. it is the very finest. Absolutely. And a non-alcoholic <laughs> beverage. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. one never wants to net cam. And Come drive. Come talk to us. Come talk to us. <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> Get through, Joshua and Kat. Get on the air. Get on the fridge. Come talk to us so we can put you on the air. That's right. I was saying exactly that. On the fridge today, a pin. Ah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was young. I needed the money. <laughs> We'd like to thank Andrew and Houston for freaking every one of us here in the studio out today and whoever picked that picture. <laughs> Folks, if you don't want to see more stuff like that, send your pictures to the screensavers at techtv.com. And as always, make Fridge Picture the subject line. You may have seen, you may have heard, you may have locked your doors. Yes, the screensavers now has a regular house call unit on the road to solve your computer conundrums, problems. And this time, our own odd couple found themselves in Hollywood helping out a familiar face. Let's see what happened. Can we roll that tape? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is either, uh, I think it's Kate Hudson or uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's house. Oh, hi, guys. How are you? I've been waiting for you. Listen, I'm ready to take my next leap into cyberspace. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, come on in. Okay. This is a net cam. Uh, basically, inside it is a little circuitry that takes the uh, image from the lens and basically turns it into a information that a computer can use. And from there, you can use a modem, or if you have like DSL or a cable modem, you can essentially take that and transfer that same image and yeah. send it across the internet. We don't have a DSL line. We just got off a of kerosene about a month ago. Mm -hmm. We were using a kerosene computer till about a month ago. Does he ever laugh? And the beauty of one of these is it's so simple to set up. Before you needed, a, you know, a pretty elaborate hardware. You needed a separate. Excuse me, we're very busy here. Did you get this on eBay? This particular unit is actually pretty straightforward to set up. It's a USB, so that means it's just basically plug and play. It's, it's so small, you know. It's like very, very yeah. inconspicuous. It's great. Yeah. That's Aphrodite's pair, and leave it alone. Do not cause trouble. You'll basically have to run an application. I launched NetMeeting. This is the most popular, um, what they call net conferencing software. Now you've done it. The key point is they have one of these devices as well yes. on their end. This is a clock. You know what a clock tells you? Time. And that's what you're going to do. And they're running the same application at the same time. Go in there. Get in there. And basically what you'll end up getting is a there I am. picture of yourself. Guy's driving me nuts. So basically, he gives you an IP address, you punch that in like a phone number, right. you hit enter, and he'll call him if he's waiting for you. Right. That's it. It is, uh, it was so hot today down in uh, Burbank that I... How uh, hot was it? Why don't we email each other, you know, and keep, kind of keep in touch. Yeah. And you, uh, no hard feelings. Yeah. Take care. So long, guys. Bye. Yeah, but great. Bye-bye. Bye. So do you think uh, my chances of winning the Publishers Clearing House is uh, better this year? Out of shot in hell, Roger. <laughs> That's great. That's you must have had a good time there. How old is Ed McMahon now? He's in his seventies, uh, isn't he? Yes, he's in his late seventies. He seemed like he was really sharp, though, really well. Oh it. yeah, he's he's that someone that age. He's actually a lot sharper than you. He's great. He was doing great. So was it a pretty straightforward house? I mean, you just installed uh, yeah, it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was great. Um, he had a very simple problem. He just wanted to get a webcam up for his uh, new gig that he's planning down the road. And, and it was a USB net cam, so it's pretty so straightforward. Very simple because he had a uh, laptop. I didn't want to complicate matters, and right. since he was new to the tech, to the technology. I didn't want to confuse him too much. Was he pretty tech savvy? Did he know what he was doing? Um, no, but he knew when to, when he needed help, and that right. was good. Now, really, was he on a modem? Was he on DSL? What was the... Uh... He was up on a 56K dial -up. He really was? Yes. This guy's got more money than God, and he was on a 56K dial-up? 
Um, the reason he gave me is that DSL and cable modem are not yet available where he lives. Oh. In the nice Santa Monica right. Hills. Oh, all right. Maybe that's he's just a kind of a more remote, remote area. So give a people at home who are, who are doing the same thing as Ed McMahon a couple of quick net cam tips on how to get that thing set up. Uh, first of all, just read the instructions. I mean, most people open <laughs> no, wait, that's going. That's asking way too much, Roger. Yeah, I mean, you got to read the instructions that come with the device. I mean, you know, you're not... Well, one, one common thing with USB devices of all kinds, sometimes they want the software first, then you plug in the hardware. Sometimes you want to plug in the hardware first, then you do the software. General so that's what with, you need to know. Yeah, general rule of thumb with most U.S. Most U.S. What? USB yes, devices, yes, you want to install right. the software first. That's right. And then plug in the hardware. That's right. Um, another thing to keep handy is basically the driver's disk because... The setups are not always straightforward. They'll right. probably require software as you keep, as you keep uh, adding more features to it. And Scott Harriet. Yeah. Yeah, you were in the closet with Ed McMahon. Now you can say that to all your friends. <laughs> Quiet. He doesn't know. The rest of the public doesn't know about that. About <laughs> was it fun? Did you have fun? Oh, he was great, man. It Was that all like cars? Carson memorabilia on the walls there and stuff. Oh like yeah, that. and he had Budweiser signs. There was empty any, booze bottles everywhere. Any any Alpo any uh, where in the house? Any Alpo? That's yeah. what he snacked on during break. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are great. Once again, it sounds like you had a lot of fun. You saw one side of the story. We're going to find out what really happened tomorrow. Because guess what? Ed McMahon is going to tell on you guys. He's going to join us tomorrow on his brand new netcam. And Scott, we're going to find out what really happened. I have nothing tomorrow. to hide. Yeah, nothing you keep to hide. saying that. If you're